everyone and welcome to Island Technologies presentation on VLAN and its applications. My name is Roy Panetta and I am the technical manager at Island Technology. Together with Priti Thaka, who is the network engineer at Island Technology, we will give you an overview of uh, VLAN and its applications in Draytech routers and how it can be used in small to medium sized networks. Uh, first of all, just go through some housekeeping issues. Uh, the presentation will be around 20 minutes and there will be a five minute Q&A session and listener only mode will be enabled for the presentation. You can type your questions or comments in the left button uh, section of the screen. Sometimes there may be a breakage in sound due to network congestion, but uh, be patient and stay on. You may have to re-register to get back in. We will save a recorded video on our blog, blog site uh, sometime in the future. But if you want a particular slide, you can click Save button at the, on the, the page. As mentioned, I will be out recording, so I'll send you the link for the recorded video after the webinar is finished. So now I'll pass you to Brittany, who'll tell you more about VLANs. Thank you, Roy. Good morning, everyone. In the webinar today, we will see uh, what is VLAN and what are the advantages of VLAN, port-based and tech-based VLAN. We'll also play a video that shows VLAN configuration on access point and router, switch VLAN configuration, VLAN applications, and VLAN usage in WAN. I'll now start by looking at what is VLAN. VLAN is an abbreviation of Virtual Area Network and it is a group of devices on one or more LAN subnets that are configured to communicate as if they were attached to the same wire. While in reality, they are located on a number of different LAN segments. VLANs are based on logical instead of physical connections and hence VLANs allow network administrators to partition their networks without having to run new cables or make major changes in their current network infrastructure. There are many advantages of configuring VLAN in your network. One of the benefit is VLANs increases the number of broadcast domains and hence reduces the congestion and improves performance of the network. Another good thing is you can create logical groups and allow communication among required subnets and hence you can secure your network. Moreover, VLAN is not restricted to one switch. It can span across multiple switches and hence increases the flexibility to the network. And grouping is logical here. That means, uh, let's say in a building, sales department is on first floor, uh, but one of the salesperson sits on the second floor. So no matter where the PC is placed in the network, it can still be part of sales VLAN. VLAN also helps in making network administration very easy. Now let's look at the VLAN configuration. We'll see port-based and tag-based VLAN one by one. So let's see port-based VLAN first. On Draytech router, go to LAN VLAN configuration, enable VLAN configuration, Assign all the ports and SSIDs to required VLAN and select LAN subnet from the drop down. SSIDs will be available only in wireless router model. Hence, uh, here we are using dual band wireless router, and that's why you can see eight SSIDs on the screen. So, four for each band. Uh, we are assigning port number one, two, and three as a member of VLAN zero port 4, 5, 6 under VLAN 1 and all SSIDs under VLAN 2. Now we can configure LAN 1, LAN 2 and LAN 3 subnets. 
For this, go to LAN General Setup. On LAN General Setup page, enable LAN 1, LAN 2, and LAN 3, and configure them one by one by clicking on the Details page. That's how we can configure port-based VLANs, which is pretty simple. Now let's look at the tagged VLAN. Let's consider we have seven PCs connected to a switch and switch is connected to a router. We have three different VLANs configured on switch based on the department. In normal port-based VLAN, we need three different connections from router to the switch to pass traffic for each VLAN. So one cable for each uh, orange, green and blue VLANs as shown on the screen. But in case of tag based VLAN, you can use only one port. So all data will pass through same cable and switch will separate out packets based on the tag on the data packet facts about tagged VLAN. Uh, let's understand each of them. If a port is a tagged member of VLAN, then any packets sent out to that port by that VLAN must have a tag inserted into the packet header. And the second one is, uh, if a tagged packet arrives in at a port and the port is a tagged member of the VLAN corresponding to the VID in the packets tag, then the packet is associated with that VLAN. To configure this on Dratec router, you can go to LAN VLAN configuration. Similar to port-based VLAN, you can config, you can enable VLAN, you can assign ports and SSIDs, just like what we have configured before uh, in the port-based VLAN. And also you can select LAN subnet. Now uh, for tag-based VLAN, on the right-hand side, you can enable VLAN tag, enter VLAN ID to uniquely identify each VLAN. VLAN ID value could be between 1 to 4095 and 0 means no tagging. You can also set the priority. Value of priority can be set between 0 to 7, 0 being lowest and 7 being highest. Now for tagged VLAN setup, one port should be set as a trunk port. So let's set port 1 as a trunk port. This port will be part of all the VLANs and it will connect to switch. You can keep permit untagged device in P1 to access router option as checked as highlighted on the screen. Let's understand why. We are considering that there will be a switch between router and a computer. Switch will tag the packets. But in case for some reason you want to connect computer directly to the router and then computer cannot send tag data to the router if this option is not checked. And in that case, router will be inaccessible. Hence, it is advisable to check this option. So router will be always accessible from port 1 when the PC is directly connected to the router. I'll now go through the interland routing. This feature is useful if you want to allow communication between any two LAN subnets. For example, we have one LAN subnet for accounts as VLAN 1 and another LAN subnet for payroll as VLAN 3 and we want to allow communication between these two departments. So here we can use interlan routing feature. For that, you can go to LAN General Setup, Interland Routing Table. Look at the intersection of LAN 1 and LAN 3 and tick the checkbox. Similarly, you can allow communication among different subnets as per the requirement. Now let's watch the video for the VLAN configuration on Dratec Access Point and Router. I'll play the video now. Hey everyone, 
This video demonstrates how to set up your access point with MultiSSID. We can set up MultiSSID to separate wireless clients to different subnets. Here in this example, EP connecting to a router has multiple subnets and it is passing traffic via trunk port. We will configure EP900 and Vigor 2860 one by one. So let's configure Vigor 2860 first. Connect Vigor 2860 to a computer, open your web browser and log into Vigor 2860. Here we will configure four LAN subnets with network address 192.168.1.0.2.0.3.0 and 4.0 all with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 To configure LAN 1 go to LAN general setup click on details page enter IP address subnet mask and DHCP configuration Similarly, we need to configure LAN 2, LAN 3 and LAN 4. At this stage, router does not allow to configure remaining LAN subnets as they are inactive. To make them active, we will go to LAN VLAN configuration. Enable VLAN, we will use port 6 as a trunk port, hence it will be part of all the VLANs. Now select LAN subnet, enter VLAN ID under VLAN tag. Now let's allocate remaining ports. Here we will keep remaining ports under VLAN 4 as untagged. Click OK to save the settings. After router restarts, log in to the router again and go to LAN general setup and configure remaining LAN subnets. For that, first enable LAN 2, LAN 3 and LAN 4. Now check IP, subnet mask and DHCP settings for LAN 2 and change if required. Similarly, check LAN 3 and LAN 4. Now we'll configure access point. Connect AP900 to a computer. You'll need to use static IP to a computer to access AP900 as DHCP server is inactive by default. Now go to LAN General Setup and disable DHCP Client. Ensure that DHCP Server is turned off so that all IP addresses will be assigned by Vigor 2860 only. Then go to Wireless LAN General Setup, enable Wireless LAN, uncheck Enable to subnet option and configure four VLANs with different VLAN ID as set on the router. Enter SSID name for them. Now go to Wireless LAN Security. For each SSID, select an authentication mode, WPA algorithm, and enter passphrase. to save. Also set key renewal interval to 3600 if not set. Both devices Vega 2860 and EP900 are now configured. We will connect LAN port number 6 of 2860 to EP900 through a network cable. Now we will test the setup. From laptop, 
go to wireless and try to connect SSID one by one and check IP addresses. Wireless client getting IP address according to the SSID it connects to. Hence only one LAN physical connection between router and EP can pass the traffic for all VLANs. You can also enable inter-LAN routing under LAN general setup to allow communication among four VLANs. Hope you enjoyed the video. So we have gone through VLAN configuration on Raytech router and access point. Now we will see VLAN configuration on Raytech switch. On Raytech switch, enable VLAN mode either as port based or tag based. Let's select tag based here and then click on add new VLAN button. Enter VLAN ID, name and select the member ports and then click on the apply button. Set one member port as trunk port and remaining as access ports. These options may vary depending on the switch model. Now switch can be connected to router and we can connect PCs to the switch LAN ports. Central switch management feature will be soon available in Draytech router. So switch can also be configured from router management page. So that would be pretty excited feature. Our next topic is VLAN applications. So let's see some of the scenarios where VLAN can be advantageous. Let's assume that a company wants to separate the employee's Wi-Fi and guest Wi-Fi to restrict access of guest users. He wants to he wants that guest users should be able to access internet but should not be able to access other LAN resources like server, printer, internal ports, and those kind of resources. So two VLANs can be defined here, VLAN 1 and VLAN 2. The LAN subnet for VLAN 1 can be set as 192.168.1.0 and subnet for VLAN 2 can be set as 10.0.0.0, keeping interland routing disabled. Another scenario where four companies are in the same building, they share the broadband network and use Vigor router for load balance, security and VoIP features. So four VLANs can be defined here, like VLAN 5, 6, 7 and 8. Apart from this, there can be many other instances where VLAN can be really useful. Our next topic is virtual VAN. Virtual WAN can be configured in two different ways in Joetic Router. One is bridge virtual WAN to LAN clients and second one is for ECS management. For configuring any of them, first you need to go to WAN multi VLAN, select channel WAN 5. For bridge virtual WAN to LAN clients, check enable box. Set when type to Ethernet, that is when one, and enter VLAN tag. Then tick open port based bridge connection for this channel option and choose physical port as physical member. Then you can click on OK button to apply the settings. If you want to configure as virtual when for ACS management, then tick uh, open WAN interface for this channel option instead of bridge option, which we selected in the earlier slide. So you can set WAN application to management and set WAN setup to static or dynamic IP. Then go to online status, virtual WAN to check the WAN status. Virtual WAN can be used in case of IPTV. I would like to share additional information here. Some of the NBN connection providers do use VLAN tagging for WAN and this can be set up under WAN general setup. 
as shown on the slide. VLAN ID can be set according to the details provided by Internet Service Provider to bring the NBN Internet up. For more information, please visit our website at www.dratech.com.au slash support or you can email us at sales at dratech.com.au.